We're live. We're here. We're doing it. The games. I'm like playing games and stuff. That's not here. No, oh, I'm live on here. I'm, li I'm live on the right channel. <laughs> What's up, Roger? Good to see you. I don't. I don't know. Doesn't Micah usually play games with you tonight? I don't know where he is family in town last week. I don't know if they're still in town. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just going to get started so, because it's already 10.30 my time. Gosh, you see that T down there? T! Let's see if this works tonight. Blondie, hello. How are you, Blondie? It should work, right? Last stream, I did some research. For those that don't know that reference, that's a good mythical morning reference, but like an old good mythical morning reference. They don't do that anymore. I don't, I don't think they've done the boopity boop research. Because they don't research anymore. <laughs> they pay people to do that part. Go for a two mile walk because they refuse to go to the house. It's like, I am. Home alone all day, Mom. <laughs> I just want to go on a walk. You know what's funny is my wife wanted to do that when we got home too, and I just did not want to. I was so tired. Plus, our kids were. Pestering each other. All right. Kids, my kids are the same way. They want to be out of the house. They take after their mom. I'm, I think I'm more of a homebody. Would you say I'm more of a homebody? Yeah. 
I like going out and doing stuff, but I don't like going out and doing stuff after work. We're getting back to the edge here. Good. It, do you have internet set up, Wandy? Can you finally get your internet set up? So I'm right now. I, I am editing right now a, a the uh, backflipping across high roll, and I'd say I'm like two thirds of the way through the through the edit. And it's so funny how random our conversations were during that. <laughs> we were talking about like public transportation. There was like a point where uh, LPD's like, I'm intoxicated on a train right now. <laughs> like, what? what? What are you doing, LPD? Okay. This is where we'll start. This is as far back as we can go. Yeah, LPD is awesome. He, I, he is someone I would like. I mean, well, I, I think like almost everybody that comes and hangs out in chat is someone I would be friends with IRL if I lived close to him. Like, he's just such a cool guy. Because <laughs> I have met him in person. We're going to get to meet Blondie in person next month. It's going to be fun. What am I doing? Oh. Negative 40, 91. That's the... I, I want to do the math at the end to see how far we travel. All right. Let me, uh, fire up my recording software here. So I can record this here audio. Test, test! We are live and recording.
cool playlist here, but... All right, here we go. Today, we're crossing Hyrule in a straight line. And we're just gonna take off and go. Our line is at 1565. We have a couple rules. This is on a fresh file. We have to cross in a straight line. We have one. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm explaining this very poorly, actually. Now that I'm done climbing, I should be good. All right, so this challenge was created by GeoWizard IRL. Like, that, like he, di he did this in real life. He crosses places in straight lines. And then my... Oh. My older brother, Doug Doug, took this challenge and applied it for this game and crossed Hyrule in a straight line. He crossed Hyrule in a straight line and he ha gave himself a margin of five on either side of his chosen line. And I thought, I could do that, but I'm gonna do it longitudinal. We're gonna go across longitudinal. But then my rival, my arch nemesis, Point Crow, decided to do it first. Feeling's not supposed to be here. <laughs> Crack it. So my arch rival, my arch nemesis, Point Crow. Did the challenge first. He crossed Hyrule in a horizontal line, and he only used a margin of error of three on either side. So if we're in the game of one-upmanship, I'm going to cross Hyrule in a straight line with a margin of one. And I am crossing up in the north. Which gives me a little bit more distance than our buddy Point Crow, who started here. That's right. Look at that. Look at that. There's like three squares. Oh, I mean, like, I don't know where you measure the squares. There's like three huge map squares here of water. Didn't cross that. My line's going to be bigger. There you go. That's the lore. I have set up myself as a nemesis of Point Crow. Um, I don't. Which way is which? This way. I mean, he like literally had the same idea as me independently. <laughs> Because uh, I was all, I was trying to do this, and then I tuned into... I, I saw he was streaming it, and I was like, oh, man, and is he doing that? And, and then I saw his video go up, and I was like, he did it. He successfully did it. Fifteen sixty-five is our number. That's where we're, as we're crossing... So yeah, he, he he was successful in it. His video 
So Doug Doug's video is uh, titled. Can you cross all of Tears of the Kingdom in a straight line? Is Doug Doug's title. Point Crow, can I cross Tears of the Kingdom in a straighter line? And now me. Can I cross... <laughs> Zelda... Can I cross Tears of the Kingdom in the straightest line? We have straight line, straighter line, and straightest. Right. <laughs> he says, you know what else he did that got me watching him? Let's play Wind Waker. Wind Waker is such a great game. Good. Good. But he doesn't play Wind Waker all that regularly. He did just a single playthrough like me. something. Yeah, his Pokemon randomizers are cool. This line's a little more... <laughs> oh no! This line's a little more uh, strict with what we can do. the map randomizers he does oh. and you know what i absolutely love that he and small ant started making stuff together again that was so cool i followed the saga i was i was like all in on that when because first off i really like both of both of their channels. Um, 
and I really like their collaborative content. So when they, uh, I believe they first showed up on uh, the Anthony Padilla podcast doing collaboration type stuff, they had like, but yeah, they, they they had like a whole falling out, which was so uh, such a bummer to see. I felt so I felt so bad because they seemed like I felt so bad. It seemed like both of them were just like chill, cool dudes. line here. Oh. I reset that. Wow, this is tough. Wasn't it this tough before? Anyways, it, it just seemed like more of a. It, it, it seemed like more of misunderstandings and. Unintended. Unintended stuff. Cool. It was really cool to see them right together, and it's really cool to see them collaborate on stuff. <laughs> the margin is what makes it tough. Oh, almost like that's the difficult part of this challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Almost like I'm commenting on the absolute obvious. Maybe I am. All right. <laughs> What's wrong with that? gotta go over, not through. <laughs> Make this tough for yourself. If it was easy, then everyone would do it. This is what separates me from, from everyone else. <laughs> is my stupidity. <laughs> Uh, it's my stubbornness to do challenges the way they're meant to be done. Wow, why didn't I just go this way originally? This was, like, much easier. What? What? Hello? Why is this so much easier? Ah! your drive. It's about drive. It's about power. It's about <laughs> Song by The Rock. Not stupidity, but drive to build my channel. That's right. And how do you build your channel? By piggybacking off the hard work of other people. Point Crow did it. Point Crow piggybacked off Doug Doug's idea. And I'm piggybacking off that piggyback. I'm not going to be ashamed of that. I fight for my friends.
this is what it's all about. The journey, the climb. You don't get to the top. You don't become an elite YouTuber, streamer, by not pushing the boundaries. You need a clapping reward to redeem, so I can use it when I like. What kind? What kind of clapping reward are you talking? <laughs> like, like applause? I could do that pretty easily. What are we listening? Those are like random war crimes. There we go. Excuse me. Guard you open! How you doing, Dark Milk Man? It's good to see you. I just busted that out. I don't. I was like, I committed. I committed to the cartwheel. Probably not the prettiest looking. I need to make that. I need to edit that soundbite to be longer. I have more time to prepare the surprise. I never, I never have enough time. Uh, dang it. The glider is so hard to control. Yeah, I'm feeling that already. <laughs> Old man body. fully planned to bring out the horse head, which was down here. But I couldn't find it. My kids ran off of it. That is one of the funniest things we have. It's from uh, when we did the horse, the horse bit on the podcast. But I am downstairs with just my kids with that hat, with that head on. And there's like a tiny little body with this giant horse head. It's so funny. Man, that wind. That wind sure is waking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Okay, so that stamina bar. say good enough, right? I, I stayed within the boundaries. Ooh, ooh. Man, 
man, having one Hyrule foot. I don't know what these units even are measured in. But having just one degree of error is real brutal. When Doug did this challenge, he he had five on either side. So he could go all the way down to like 1560 and all the way up to 1570. I will not be doing that because I will do this challenge better than anyone has ever done it. where things are going to be brutal. We go. We gotta hope that this will be enough. We'll say this is easier than the last one we attempted. Much better spot for this. I believe. I believe. Link climbing better than he's ever climbed in his gosh dang life. Go, Link. Go, Link. Yes! We're in the line! We're in it! Oh! Yeah! Wait, why did we... Why, why did we cross the threshold there? To reset. I need to reset the stamina. There's like no way I can do it without the resetting the stamina. Oh. 
<laughs> what happened? Why can't I do that anymore? Slowly losing stamina now. No, no, we're sliding. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. We're doing it. I can't believe it. Get us up there, Link. Get us up to the top of that mountain. Because you're a freaking hero. not get around this thing hey that worked I backflipped into it and I did not cross have have I overcome the, the impossible obstacle so quickly Okay, first stop. You'll get no sympathy from me. <laughs> the so the you'll get no sympathy from me bit is so funny in the backflipping video that I'm editing. It's 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 I'm using it kind of as like a prominent like plot device and having a blast with it. It's just very funny. Oh, is it up higher? Yeah, no sympathy death counters. And the, the fact that I so adamantly said I wouldn't get above 10. <laughs> and then I got like 30. <laughs> oh, good times we have here on stream. All right. Shouldn't have worked. I fight for my friends. That's when we won the bet. Yeah, 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 exactly. the glider does make this challenge so much easier. 
Because previously I was trying to one up Doug Doug by doing this gliderless. Which who knows how possible that would even be. I had to see what would happen. <laughs> All right. It's actually a little bit of a bummer that there aren't guys here because then I could potentially get stuff from them. But I guess I killed them in a previous run and there hasn't been a blood moon yet? That's the only explanation I got for that. This will hopefully be a lot easier. What? I guess I was leaned to the side there. again. Gliding on a one pixel, or one pixel, one Hyrulean foot margin is so horrible because the wind 
is actually pretty strong in this game. again. It's definitely doable, it's just not a lot of room for error. doing it. We're doing it. Yes. Oh, there's just enough space to do it. The stamina trick is the absolute savior of this run.
here on 1565. Can't go up the ledge. At least not yet. The, the fact that stamina trick exists would annoy me so much because it feels cheaty, but I found myself using it now that I've seen you do it. Oh. I abused the stamina trick, even back in Breath of the Wild days. Holy cow. There we go. Slime like a perfect fit or what? I think we got a full send in here. I don't remember this wall being here. Don't, don't remember it. And definitely a little concerned that it's here. Here, we'll use Tulin to speed up getting back over there. It's nice that we have the spirit sage of all the sages. familiar. That makes me, means we were higher up. Maybe on that ridge right there? Yes. 
so catchy. Where was I? I thought I would have a much easier time finding this. Oh no, this is familiar. Okay, I'm I'm back where I was. I guess I jumped from here. Okay, big work news, not really, we'll just pretend. Uh, I managed to assist the foreign into the US Army to pay for a hotel for my patient who lives in a second story apartment and can't get up her stairs right now. That is pretty, that is pretty funny. So she's, so she's former military. Sounds like she needs to move to a better apartment. Hopefully that works out for her. Okay, let's see here. Try this again. Okay, so there's no way up, right? And how did I end up? Thank <laughs> you. 
easier to just glide. Crazy. Also, why why refuse to move? If you're lined up for a house, it's like a better deal. Maybe it's more expensive. Also, so when it's going through trauma and recovery it might just be adverse to change. Very cool. That would definitely be a uh, tough thing. That's understandable. Housing is such a tough thing nowadays. Like right now, the housing market. There's, we're definitely in like a housing crisis. It's so hard to find. Places to live. myself fall a lot more than I previously was allowing for.
I don't know why I thought that I could get around going that way. But that's, that was what my brain thought I could do. Definitely doable, but how? Not sure. Because I did this before. Okay, we need to research. Back to... Back to the research corner. How did we do this before? We said it. it's doable. Well, yeah, because I, I definitely made it past this part previously. <gasps> Look, it's me. So I different. need to get rid of this line, uh, this green marker. So it's blocking the vision. It's coming back though. Back in a second. I've already got like, a whole lot of blue hairs. Chasm, I guess. Save here so we don't have to do that again. <laughs> All right. Now we just work our way up the vacant pit. Mountainside. Honestly, 
I didn't. Maybe I didn't get the car. Save. Decline. And until next time, everybody. Never. Oh no. I didn't go there like I thought. This could spell bad news. problem then. I'm I'm dumb. Not dumb. Forgetful. It's like a mark where the headphones have been sitting. I'm forgetful and I forgot that this was the roadblock that we ran. question here is what do we do? Would more height help? The light amount of Nope. 
I wasn't paying attention. All right. I'm gonna get over there and kind of scope out the situation. But where I landed previously didn't look very climbable. Good ledge route here. Because once we get over this cavern, it's smooth sailing, I think. stamina that I can out of this jump. Uh... 
Oh my gosh, is it raining for real? Thinking First off, I, I think I'm gonna call it a stream for next. I don't wanna be up crazy late. Um But I am not giving up on this route. I think this route is actually pretty doable. Figure out this hurdle. Boots and Oh yeah, so I'm thinking for the depths. Oh, I haven't even discovered them yet. But for the depths, every body of water is a wall. Like, like straight up a wall. There's... It can't be that simple of a solution. I refuse to believe it. I'm opening up my main file. Don't be mad at me for being smart. I will literally jump for joy <laughs> if this is accurate. I don't even have my map unlocked down there in my main file. To like check. You kidding? I'm gonna pull up a map online. I don't know why. Um, what's this place called? The Depths. Thank you. 
look at it, though. I would be just walking in pitch black. But that's, like, for sure the longest possible line. So I think I might die in the lava place. This requires further investigation. But maybe not only very doable, but a very cool idea. Either way, we will be crossing Hyrule in a straight line. I'm gonna be I'm gonna finish this challenge. Um, I'll probably hop back on stream either tomorrow or Thursday to do more of the current challenge. It's a good idea. Well, I need to let the add it right now. ideas. Crossing Zelda in a great line.
using the potions would also make a timer. Good point. Oh, I, wait, I added that to the sheet, so you can't even see. <laughs> Alright, well that's where I'm calling it a stream tonight. I will be back. I, so, I, I've been thinking about my stream schedule because I've been inconsistent since since I did my March Mayhem. A little bit of burnout. Just doing it every day. And then, I want to have evenings, you know? But, I'm thinking of setting up my schedule to be Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then with an optional additional stream on Saturday. So I'm streaming at least two times a week. Um, the, the real kicker, though, is that with the podcast, that's actually three streams a week. So then I only have Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday to edit videos. And I'm, I'm trying to, like, find a good balance between editing videos from streams and actually streaming. Because I enjoy doing both a lot. I want to keep up streaming so that more people can come and hang out as I make more videos, but I also need to get more videos out. I probably should prioritize the videos, but I also don't want to drop off stream. <laughs> Anywho, that's that's where I'm at. So I'm thinking I'm thinking Tuesday, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, Blondie, 100%. I would love to be able to get an editor. Even if I could just, like, make a little bit more money at work so I could, like, make some money to help with editing, that would be great. Or make a little bit more money streaming and stuff, but... It doesn't just happen overnight. But I do need to, I do need to get more content out. I've been, like... Like, March Mayhem was like, go, go, go. And then post-March Mayhem, I'm like, I just want to play Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> In fact, I may go do that after I stop streaming, even though it is late. Just because I'm, I, I'm addicted. It's so fun. Play for, like, an hour and then go to bed. But yeah, I just want to, like, relax and do things with my, like... But I also really enjoy streaming. This. <laughs> I wish I had more hours, I have more time in the day, more, uh, more time to do things. I have so many things I want to do, and not enough time to do it all. But anywho, thanks everybody. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I will see you back here tomorrow potentially, but for sure Thursday. All right, peace out. The peace out salute. <laughs>